Today marks our sixth day in Turkey. Yesterday, we spent our entire day in Cappadocia, exploring its natural wonders, the unique spectacular rock formations, the cave dwellings, and even underground dwellings. So today, it's with a heavy heart that we have to leave Cappadocia to continue our glorious Turkey tour. Kerja batu, hairy up the pair. Oi, nama ni kan? It's our last day today, and good luck. Ipa, good luck nanti. Ah, we're gonna miss this place. Our call time for the tour bus to pick us up is 8 a.m. We're leaving Cappadocia. We're not yet late, but we have to move fast, as we still have to pack our luggages, and we want to have breakfast and roam around the hotel for the last time and take more photos. Oh, the pressure of packing stuff as you check out. What are you having? Me everything. This, this this is like our our last day in this fabulous fantastic hotel. Oh they have Turkish delight? Mm -hmm. have, and then they have is this also Turkish delight? This one? Chocolate um, oh. uh, I this. You try the ano the pancakes ah, the original pancake. So my favorite Turkish pancake arrives. I thought it was crepe. But pancake daw siya. And yesterday, uh, cheese yung laman. Ito naman, the filling is now potato. So I'm trying this pancake, this Turkish pancake. The flavor is potato. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not too lasa. The flavor is not that strong, but there is an aftertaste. Like, it's kind of minty. Yeah, para may may ano eh, may I can't describe it. May spicy, minty, pero may aftertaste. The smell, yeah, it's in Turkey, Turkish influence. Pero masarap. Now it's time to leave beautiful Cappadocia and head to the capital of Turkey, Ankara. On our way, we stopped by at a ceramic store. It looked like a small ordinary pottery store from the outside, but once you're inside, you'll find out that it is huge. It's like a building beneath the ground. Imagine that, an underground mall. But this place just specializes in traditional Turkish pottery and ceramic, which plays a significant part in Turkish culture and heritage. Here, we get to know how the pots and vases and other ceramics were made by hand. Yep, by hand. So just like the hand-woven Turkish carpet that um, we visited the other day, 
the prices of the ceramics here are higher because they are made by actual human hands, the Turkish traditional way. So this is the old spade, by the way. And there is a very interesting story about this shape. That's why he is making the sugar bowl. At the past, like 10 to the 50, 60 years before, this art was the only job to earn money, one way to make money. That's why all the men had to know how to make a shape. And all the ladies also, they had to know how to make carpet. Because at that time, tourism wasn't popular like this. So everybody, they had to know to make something to support their house economy. So when the men uh, would like to get married, they had to make something with lid, but in front of their girlfriend's father, and to show them how good artists they are. So at the end of the shape, if they could make the lid perfectly, then they could get married. So at the end of the shape, we are gonna see as a result that is he married or not. Yes. But that was all tradition, thanks to God. Today there is no like that. Otherwise, it will be almost impossible to get married because mm -hmm. young generation doesn't know how to perfect, make pottery yeah. or how to make carpet. Even very difficult in circle wine feature that lots of different things there are. The Hittites used this shape for their religion ceremonies, for serving wine. Because 4,000 years before, the Hittites had more than 1,000 gods and goddesses. That one of the biggest one was sun goddess. The circle represented the year sun goddess, which is Arina. So before the libations, they fill wine in it with some spices. Then they sit on top of the hills, but before the sunrise. When the sunshine passed through from the circle, that sunshine makes the wine special. It blesses the wine. Do they believe that? <coughs> if they drink that blessed wine, all the sunlight goes into the air, but it brings the health good feature of whatever they wish. And the serving way was like this on the wrist. Wow. And for the bigger ones, they put on the shoulder in front of the kings to show the some respect. <coughs> they used to like this, upside and down. This is the way how they served. Okay. Well, as I've mentioned earlier, this place is like an underground superstore. I can't remember how many levels this store has, but the deeper we go, the more beautiful the ceramics and porcelains that we see. And of course, the higher the prices. It's just a shame that I cannot take photos of the ceramics and porcelains that are being sold in the lower levels. They are considered rare and unique. Examples, bases taller than me, cups and plates with super intricate designs and details, potteries and porcelains that glow in the dark. How I wish I could show them to you. But alas, the management forbade me to take videos or even photos. With respect to the store's management, I'm not going to disclose the prices of their products, but this place is worth visiting. Busog na busog ang paningin ko. There will be the traffic for sure while we are crossing from Asia to the Europe. It is 2 p.m. and we haven't had lunch yet, but we had a stopover for snacks and coffee earlier. But now, I just can't wait for lunch.
shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we finally arrived at Ankara City and now we're having lunch at Aspava Hotel. Where we for the highlight is we're gonna try a new style of uh, cooking of kebab. Okay, so here's the meal. What do you call this kind of kebab? Basta the one with, you know, with, with yogurt. God, it's so big. Ako, wala na tayong ginawa dito. Hindi kumain ang kumain, ang kumain, ang kumain. Despite of my body build, I am a voracious and adventurous eater. I am not afraid to try out new cuisines, especially when I am in another country. I've said this before in the previous episodes, but let me say it again. Turkish food has grown on me totally. For some Filipinos, they find some Turkish food a bit bland. But for me, I just love the way they are. Fever spread. I don't know what this towel is. Malamig. Malamig siya. Ano ba describe na siya? Sambyuk. Sambyuk. Okay. Time for some tea and dessert. With our bellies full and happy, it's time to walk to burn calories. Here, we are walking towards the Ataturk Mausoleum or otherwise known as Anit Kabir. The Ataturk Mausoleum sits high on a hilltop in Ankara. This place was built between 1944 and 1953 to be the final resting place of the founder and first president of the Turkish Republic, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. This square is huge. It reminds me of Beijing's Tiananmen Square or Taiwan's Liberty Arc or perhaps Luneta. Anyway, this is impressive architecture that we got to see. We went inside the museum, but unfortunately, taking photos and video is not allowed in many parts of the museum. This place is devoted in honoring the first president of the Turkey Republic, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, and I got to learn a lot about him and about Turkey during his time.
Let's not move this any more. Our destination after Ankara is the bustling city of Istanbul. However, since the distance between the two is five to six hours, we are scheduled to spend the night at Bolu. It was almost 8 p.m. when we arrived here in Bolu. Three hours in the bus on the road coming from Ankara city to Bolos which is near Istanbul we finally arrived in our hotel okay so yeah room check muna tayo ah, oops sorry wrong button Not as big as the rooms we had before, but this is okay. This is clean. Oh yeah, Marlon, you're here. <laughs> I'm just having my our room check. Okay. Okay. See you. Nice because the toilet is quite low. This is perfect. Good. Bathroom check. Okay, the bathroom is is small but still clean and nice and I love this. I love this. Economy. Pero okay lang, diba? It's nice. Reminds me of our condominium. What's that? Our windows. Can you, I know, uh, slide the curtains? Okay. What? Please do not force the full open. The windows are not fully open for the for security reasons. I cannot see the view, and it is because it's nighttime, obviously. So let's just wait for sunrise, so that we can see the view. Okay, we're on the sixth floor, by the way. I need you. Sa Itagalog? 
peras. Melon, no, melon. Melon. Oh, melon. melon. Hindi, yung melon, yung green. Pero, canto lo. Canto lo. Ah, canto lo. Canto lo for honey. Try. <laughs> um, what I like about uh, Turkish food is that they are really healthy as in look oh, what they serve as they always serve as with fresh vegetables fresh fruits this is good, no? fresh fruits fresh vegetables the main dish is this turkish dish na ba? is this considered turkish dish siguro na para turkish way of cooking din parang we haven't tried any kind of cuisine other than turkish for the entire trip yeah parang, yeah we're not gonna feed you with American food or with other uh, uh, with other nationalities cuisine magdusa kayo sa turkey <laughs> but in fairness naman love ko naman yung ano yung Turkish food so after dinner and tea we can finally rest the long hours in the bus can actually make you feel very tired tomorrow we are scheduled to experience Istanbul city and all its wonders we thank the Lord God for giving us this wonderful opportunity. Hey baby, ano to oh? Mga baklava. I know, sorry. Turkish delight. Iwi I'm getting dizzy with all the stores around. I just don't know what to buy anymore. Oh my god.